This is Guy with Subski. I'd like to show you the latest updates in the Subski track and paddle system. Our latest board has the tracks built into the board. At this point, you can still see the top surface of the tracks, but the next generation board, the tracks will be covered with fiberglass, so it will just be a strip down each side of the board for the track mechanism. And this is where the paddle track mechanism slides. And to propel the board, the user simply rotates the paddle into the water and pushes back on the paddle board that goes forward. At the end of the stroke, the spring pulls the paddle out of the water so it's easy to bring it forward and repeat the next stroke. The hinge mechanism for the grip here, as it clears the hips, straightens out also make it easy to perform a complete stroke. The user can also rotate the paddles into the water when it's in the back position and pull them forward, either for stopping or turning right or left, or turning in a circle. So why don't we take it for a spin? Currently we have the paddle mechanism sliding up and down the tracks using stainless steel bearings. The next generation board will have plastic nodes on the slide boxes riding on triangular shaped rails inside the tracks. This will reduce the sound for a much quieter ride. This is the standard forward propulsion with both paddles going back at the same time. You can also paddle one side and then the other. Now we're performing a very simple turn. Note how we pull back on one paddle and push forward on the other, and the board turns in place. Here we are in reverse, a great exercise for the shoulders and the pectoral muscles. You can use the Subski as a regular paddle board by removing the paddle pull mechanisms by sliding them out at the end of the tracks. The Subki paddle track system creates an entirely different way to power your paddle board. That's all there is to it.